A few years ago now, I was duty scientist, which means that I field calls to the observatory about volcanic activity. And I got a call uh, from Johnston Space Center in Houston, the NASA group there. And they said, one of our astronauts has seen an eruption in the Aleutians, and he doesn't know what volcano it is. And at first we thought maybe it was a hoax because it came into our website. And then we thought, no, that address looks real. So we got in touch with them, and I talked to uh, the fellow in Houston, and he descri was describing it to me. but. Um, didn't have a lot of details and so I couldn't put it really together with what volcano it might be and we were discussing this and finally he said well do you want the astronaut to call you and I said can he do that and, and he said yes what's your phone number and so I gave him my office phone number and he said okay in a few minutes Jeff will give you a call and so I hung up and then I ran around the office saying I'm gonna get I'm going to get a call from the space station about this volcano that might be erupting. And so sure enough, a few minutes later, the phone rang and it was Jeff Williams, who was at the International Space Station. And he said that he had been looking out their little window because he likes to look out and look down at the earth and take photos. And that he had seen a uh, ash cloud coming out of one of the island volcanoes in the Aleutians. So we were trying to figure out which one it was. And he said, well, it was in a group of islands and it was sort of connected to another volcano. And I, as soon as he started talking about it, I said, oh, that was Cleveland. Because Cleveland is in the islands of the four mountains. It's this little cluster of island volcanoes. And Jeff said, do you want me to send you the photos I took? I said, well, of course. He can't email directly from the space station. So they went through NASA and we got the photos and they were beautiful photos of this dark gray ash plume coming out of Cleveland. We looked it up, what the orbit of the ISS is, but it's moving very rapidly. And so he's just one of the guys who likes looking out the window. The picture of the window from the inside was pretty interesting because the little port they get to look out is tiny. And he had a digital camera with this giant telephoto lens and he's just a photo buff. And it was really dumb luck because it's not like he just was looking out and happened to see it, took a few clicks, and then it was gone. So it, it was very lucky. <laughs> that was our first astronaut, first and only astronaut report of volcanic activity. Um, we don't know anything about it either. Let me pass this on to the duty scientist and they can take a look. And you're at the Aviation Weather Unit, did you say? Okay, uh, if we hear anything, we'll give you folks uh, shout back. I shared a rumor that Cleveland is erupting. Is erupting right now? Yeah. Okay. Maybe from a mariner, but she doesn't even know where the rumor came from. Okay. So. I'll pass it on. It's a difficult volcano for us to monitor. I mentioned before we don't have seismometers on it. Um, so we only get these reports every now and then or satellite data. It's almost, the weather out there is horrible. It's the central Aleutians. The weather's always bad. That thing could be erupting little puffs of tiny puffs of ash on a weekly basis and we would just have no clue. It's kind of a low level, almost constantly active volcano. I mentioned that different volcanoes have different personalities. I mean, some volcanoes are quiet, 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 have a really big eruption then go back to sleep. Cleveland is always sort of restless and giving little belches and, and things like that. It rarely puts ash up very high uh, or for very long periods of time. So it's in that sense, it's not as hazardous as some of the volcanoes that have larger eruptions, but it's, it's a bit of a nuisance for us. <laughs>